In May of 1864, just a few weeks after the Battle of Fort Pillow, the energy and attitude of the Civil War began to change, not only for African Americans, but also for both the Union and Confederate armies. Just a few months earlier, President Lincoln summoned Ulysses S. Grant to Washington and promoted him to Lieutenant General-in-Chief of the Union Army. To Grant, the key to an ultimate Union victory was in Virginia. The Confederate capital was in Virginia, and so too was General Robert E. Lee and his Army of Northern Virginia. In order to achieve the formidable goal of reaching and capturing the capital city of Richmond, Grant reassigned Major General Ambrose E. Burnside to command the 9th Army Corps. Burnside, in turn, added a 4th Division to the Corps to be commanded by Brigadier General Edward Ferrero. This new division contained seven African-American regiments, including the 19th and 30th Regiments, made up mostly of freedom seekers from surrounding slave states. The 19th Regiment, in particular, consisted of over 1,000 soldiers, many of whom were formerly enslaved from counties in southern Maryland. 24-year-old Edward Aldrich and his younger brother Taylor were two such recruits to the 19th Regiment. Born into slavery in Talbert County, Maryland, Edward and Taylor, along with their mother Harriet, lived and labored on a small plantation owned by Richard Tripp. After his death in 1846, Tripp's will bequeathed Harriet and her sons to his daughter, Sarah Elizabeth Tripp. Although the exact circumstances of their enlistment are unknown, on December 9, 1863, both Aldrich brothers signed up for a three-year term of service in the Union Army. On Christmas morning of 1863, Edward mustered into Company A of the 19th Regiment, and a few days later, on January 3, 1864, Taylor Aldrich mustered into Company B. According to documents from the National Archives, Sarah Elizabeth Tripp eventually filed for a slave compensation claim in 1867 for both brothers, receiving $300 for each. While training at Camp Stanton in Benedict, Maryland, Taylor Aldrich was promoted to first sergeant, and by April of 1864, both brothers, along with the 19th Regiment and the entire 4th Division, marched from Annapolis, Maryland, to Washington, D.C., for President Lincoln's inspection before joining Ulysses S. Grant for his overland campaign from the Rapidan River to the James River in Virginia. In the opening days of May 1864, Grant and Lee's troops engaged in what would be the first battle of the Overland Campaign, the Battle of the Wilderness. On May 4th, Grant ordered the Army of the Potomac, led by Major General George G. Meade, to cross the Rapidan River and march through an area of dense woodland known as the Wilderness. Grant's plan was for the Union troops to move quickly through the wilderness in order to slip behind Lee's Army of Northern Virginia. The Confederate general, however, was ready for Grant and confronted the Union soldiers in the midst of the wilderness. The fighting was fierce and chaotic as the trees and the undergrowth of the wooded area made it difficult to maneuver. During the ensuing three-day battle, African-American troops guarded Union supplies, rail lines, and beachheads from the onslaught of Confederate attacks. Although the United States colored troops were not fighting in the front lines, their duties as rear guard still proved perilous. The Confederate Army's 9th Virginia Cavalry captured several African-American soldiers during the battle, and one Confederate soldier wrote of their fate, quote, they were taken out on the road and shot, and their bodies left there. The Battle of the Wilderness ended on May 6, 1864, when Grant retreated and moved the Army of the Potomac towards Spotsylvania. Although his first engagement of the Overland Campaign ended inconclusively, the Battle of the Wilderness marked the first of several battles in Virginia that eventually led to the capture of Richmond and the fall of the Confederacy. The battle also became the first of several engagements African-American Union soldiers had with Lee's Army of Northern Virginia. Years later, Sergeant Alexander Heritage Newton recounted the increasing resolve of his fellow African-American soldiers on the Virginia battlefield. He writes, We had tasted of the dangers of battle, and this taste brought out the desire that we should fight to the finish. Some of our dear friends had laid down their lives already, 
and we reasoned that if it should be necessary for them to give such a sacrifice, that we were no better than they. So in our judgment, we were becoming calm, and our determination, we were becoming more and more fixed.